Okay, so hi guys, my name is Nur Shida from F1 Teach Class. So today I'm going to answer passive question number 18. Okay, 18a. The exact anion and three negative exists in several resonance form. One Roman, draw, draw possible, possible resonance structures for exact ion. As we know, exact ion is N3 negative 1. The valence electron for N is equal to 5. So, N3 is 5 times 3. And there is a negative here. So, we have 2 plus 1 equal to 16. And then, we have 2 minus plus 4, which is the bond pair at the central atom, equal to 12. And minus 12 equal to 0. And therefore, we will get bond pair equal plus lone pair. Sorry. Bond pair plus lone pair equal to electron pair. Electron pair equal to 2. So now we know that entry negative 1 is AB2, which is the linear molecular shape. So this is the Lewis structure for entry negative 1. As we can see, the central atom for entry negative 1 does not achieve octet. It does not have 8 electrons. So we have to make sure the central atom have enough eight electron by using double bond. So this is the example for double bond. The central atom have enough eight electron by using double bond from both terminal left and right hand side. And then I will name it as structure A. And then don't forget to put the negative here. Okay, and then this is the number mark number one. Determine the Lewis structure. <coughs> mark number two. We have to find the possible resonance structures for a side ion. Okay, this is structure not A. This is structure A, and then by using double head arrow, make sure to remember using double headed arrow to determine possible resonance structures okay the second structure is using triple bond i will name it as structure b okay structure b triple bond is at the right hand side it also can be written at the left hand side which is like this at the left hand side this is structure C this true drawing is is a two different type of drawing but it has same value okay so this is mark number two determine the possible resonance structures okay next question question to Roman use formal charge Use formal charge to select the most the most stable structures. Okay, I will use structure A and compare it with structure B because structure B and structure C currently has the same value, so I will only take one of them, which is structure B, and then we have to use formal charge. To select the most stable structure. Formal charge is equal to valence electron minus lone pair plus one over two bond pair. Okay, before that we have to number the atom at each structure. For structure A, the center atom I will number it as N1, at the left hand side as N2, at the right hand side as N3. Also goes to the structure B, the central atom is N1, the left hand side N2, and the right hand side N3. And then we have we can calculate the formal charge. Formal charge for N1, 5 valence electron, minus 0 lone pair, plus 1 over 2, 8 bone pair, equal to positive 1. For N2 and N3, it has same value of lone pair and bone pair. So we can write it like this. N2 equal to N3 is 
5 valence electron minus 4 lone pair plus 1 over 2 4 bonding pair equal to negative 1. Okay, this is for structure A. For structure B, N1 is 5 valence electron minus 0 plus 1 over 2 8 bond pair equal to positive 1. For N2, 5 valence electron minus 2 lone pair plus 1 over 2 6 bond pair equal to 0. For N3, 5 valence electron minus 6 lone pair plus 1 over 2 2 bonding pair equal to negative 2. This is for structure B. And then we have to compare both structure for we can see that structure A has more lower formal charge than structure B. Therefore we can conclude that the most stable structure is structure A structure A because it has the lowest the lowest formal charge. Okay at this question number two Roman we have three marks. The first mark by using formal charge for the second mark is the answer the most stable structure is structure A and the third mark is the explanation because it has the lowest formal charge so overall the, answer, the marks is 3 for 2 romans ok next question 3 romans for three Romans, three Romans using Lewis structure, explain why N3 negative 1 ion exists, but F3 negative 1 does not exist. So, the first mark, we have to draw the Lewis structure. First mark, and this is the second mark for F. 3 negative 1 and then we have to compare both Lewis structure for N3 we know that it was an octet structure because the central atom has enough an atom which is a chief octet also goes to the terminal left and right hand side so the explanation is N3 negative 1 ion does exist because each nitrogen atom obeys a that rule. So this is the marks number 3. The explanation for N3 negative 1. Okay, for F3 negative 1, we can see that the terminal atom has enough 8 electron, but the central atom has expanded electron. So the explanation will be like F3 negative 1 has expanded of that structure. But it is not allowed because F atom, F atom from period 2 does not contain D orbitals. Okay, so this is mass number 4. Okay, the marks given is 4. We have to draw the Lewis structure and then make the explanation the reasons why entry negative point is exist there goes also to F3 negative one why F3 negative point does not exist so this is the answer for question number three for the next question B chloroform chloroform CHCl3 is a common organic solvent. If H in CHCl3 is replaced by Cl, it becomes CCl, a toxic solvent. This is a statement. For each CHCl3 and CCl4 compound, draw the molecular shape. Number two, Roman, show the bond polarity. And number three, Roman, predict the polarity. Okay, we have to compare both compounds. But first of all, we have to determine what is the molecular shape for both compounds. 
for CHCL3. CHCL3, C is 4, H is 1, and, and CL3 is 7 times 3 equal to 26. 26 minus 8 equal to 18. 18 minus 18 equal to 0. And then we can get bonding pair plus lone pair equal to electron pair. Electron pair equal to 4. Therefore, we know that CH3 is A before which is tetrahedral molecular shape. And then for CCL4, CCL4C is 4 and CL4 is 7 times 4 equal to 32 minus 8. 24 minus 24 equal to 0. And then we can get bonding pair plus lone pair equal to electron pair. Electron pair equal to 4. Therefore, we know that CACL4 is A before which is tetrahedral in molecular shape as same as CHCL3. So, next, after we know the molecular shape for both compounds, we can go to the first question. I will answer it in table form. Name of compound CHCL3 and CCL4. The first question, draw the molecular shape. Okay, CHCL3 is a before tetrahedral shape. So this is the shape for tetrahedral. And don't forget to draw the angle 109.5 degree. This is the first mark. The first mark. And for CCL4, it's also A before tetrahedral. This is the shape for tetrahedral. And don't forget to draw the angle 109.5 degree. Okay, this is the second mark. So, the molecular shape will get two marks overall. For the second, the, for the two Roman, show the bond polarity, also two marks overall. For the first mark, CHCL3, we know that there is three different types of atom. So for the first, for, so firstly, we have to determine which is more electronegativity. So, from three, this H, C, and Cl, we know that Cl is more electronegativity than C. So, Cl is partial negative. And then between H and C, H is more partial positive, which is more electropositive than C. And then we can draw... C as partial positive 2. Okay, and then we have to draw the line, the arrow between partial positive and partial negative to, the, to show the bond polarity. Like this, draw the arrow. And this is the answer for CHCl3, show the bond polarity. And this is the first mark, number one. And for CCl4, we have known that Cl is more electronegativity. So Cl is a partial negative. Partial negative, partial negative. And then Cl is partial positive and then we have to draw the arrow draw the arrow to show the bond polarity which is more electronegative and more electronegative always remember to put the partial negative and positive every time you draw the bond polarity 
So this is tensor for CCL4. This is mark number 2. Okay, the next question, predict the polarity. At this question, we also get two marks. For the first mark is for CHCL3. Predict the polarity is the explanation for question number two, Roman. So from here, we have to explain what is happening. The polarity for CHCL3. Since CL is more electronegativity than C, and C is more electronegativity than H, each H, C, and CL bond is a polar, and CHCL3 is not symmetry. Therefore, the bond dipole of CHCCL does not cancel each other. So the resultant dipole moment mu does not equal to zero. CHCL3 is a polar molecule. So this is mm, the answer for CHCL3 marks number one. And for CCL4, since CL is more electronegativity than C, each CCL bond is a polar and CCL4 is not symmetry. Therefore, the bond dipole of CCL does not cancel each other. So, the resultant dipole moment mu does not equal to zero. CCL4, I'm sorry, CCL4 is polar molecule. This is the answer for CCL4, marks number two. Okay, I guess that's all for me. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.